Testing. Testing. Okay. It seems like the audio is now working for the microphone. We will see if it is working for the music in a moment. Okay, good. So, what we're on about today is deleting fonts. So this is part four. Part four of a few streams I'm doing, which is a little odd, but I'm doing this for the graphic designers out there. Or the would-be graphic designers, anyways. So I will start with my spiel. I think that's the word. I hope I'm using the word right. Because uh, I've used it for the rest few videos. So, I've started with this script every single time. Uh, let's see if I can uh, lower the camera just a bit. Okay. There comes a time in every would-be graphic designer's life when they realize enough is enough. They have gone too far, indulged too much. Something must be done and intervention is necessary. Sacrifices must be made to shed the excess of our indulgence. Harsh and cruel sacrifices must be made on the altar of less is more. <laughs> okay, but seriously, I have too many fonts. I once sat at 2,814 fonts installed, and it was causing me problems. It still is, but it was causing me problems. The first problem is the greatest. It's lagging Photoshop a little, and that is unacceptable. And the second problem is that there are too many choices to pick from when deciding a, on a font for a design or resume. This means that choosing a font from so many takes too much time. As much as less is more is a graphic design meme, I need to drop most of my fonts. Ideally, I'll be able to prune my collection of fonts that I've gotten over the years to just 200. And just the best ones as well as a few specialty ones. I will use the free version of main type, a font manager. And with that, I will hopefully uninstall 2,614 fonts. Well, that needs to be updated to however many left I need to uninstall. But I'm probably not going to bother. It takes like 30 minutes just to scroll through all these fonts, so this will take several hours. Though that's true, I've definitely been working on this for several hours over a few days. And it will probably take multiple sessions to get it where I want. Yeah, do it does take a while and you do have to take breaks. And I will also probably break my heart because some of these fonts are quite nice. You can't see me clutching my heart, but I am. Anyways, some notes from last time. Uh, episode 3 saw me with great frustration with the Nexus Font Manager, because the Nexus Font Manager wasn't uninstalling fonts, and I realized this on video 1 and 2 and didn't bother to fix it for video 3, but by video 3 I was very, very frustrated with it. So I'm now using MainType, which can delete even the default Windows fonts, which is very nice, because some of those fonts are taking up extra space. But last time, I managed to delete some of the largest fonts in the font library, uh, reducing my total number of font megabytes to about 500, and I started at 900. So that was actually a large amount of progress with a very small amount of fonts deleted. However, I did make a mistake, apparently, and I deleted a font called Sigoy UI Regular, or something similar to that. Let's just say that is a font that's somewhat important for Windows. Uh, I'll just show you. You see these little squares? These used to be icons. So deleting that font was a mistake. I'll have to fix that later, but I figured out which font I deleted what was wrong. That I shouldn't have. <laughs> but it's a small price to pay, and actually it's only a minor inconvenience. Barely an inconvenience. And also I found out that Impact, which is a font that I've been using at least in college projects and I've had on my font because I used it in college, Impact is now actually a Windows default font, which begs the question of whether or not you can use it royalty free. And basically the rule of thumb is if it's on a design program and the manufacturer bought that font to use in that program, then you can use it. So I am going to assume that I have 
the commercial rights usage, unless I am highly mistaken. In which case, if I actually ever get to the point where someone is knocking on my door for that sort of thing, I'll just buy the $50 version. Though, having Windows 10 should cover me. In fact, that means doing design work on Windows 10, uh, or later, would actually save you money if you were, like, doing it on Mac. <laughs> if you had, like, a, a computer that could use both operating systems, and then you could just switch to that. Or just say you switch. But basically, Impact is so common of a font that you can't really expect uh, anyone to come after you for royalties. Or any Windows default font or Adobe default font, because especially with Adobe, they want you to use their default fonts. It's part of the product they're selling you. So that's that. Let me save this changes I made. So this is the main type font, and what I was using was a Nexus font. Nexus font actually does look better but it's buggy it doesn't have the same number of font installed listed it does look much better and it's easier to choose which font you want to delete because uh, for this one the extra characters you can see them on the bottom and that's not particularly helpful because you have to click on the font but you can at least have the uppercase lowercase And I would like to see some of the punctuation. This is all the characters on the bottom. Uh, that's partially covered, but it doesn't matter too much. Because I'm going to have to make my decisions based on the uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, uppercase and lowercase, rather than anything else. Uh, I could do it, set it to be numbers because there are certain criteria for numbers that I don't like. Like I don't like the baseline being different, but that's an easy fix. So that's not a uh, hit. That is not something that would make me automatically delete a font. Though I was choosing when I could see all the characters of a font I just didn't like mildly or. I thought I'd have several others that are quite similar to that, but if I'd like a 7 like this, I'd just go ahead and delete it. But now that I can't see both at the same time, uh, having the numbers being slightly, slightly inferior is not as important for my decision making. So I have deleted a lot of the major fonts. But I will go ahead and show you that the main type, one of the main things I found out about and why I'm using it now over Nexus font is that I can delete system fonts from it. So this is a foreign language, either I think Korea, but I could be wrong. And I'm not going to be designing any font with Korean or Chinese or Japanese characters or Vietnamese characters or any other sort of script that I can't read. Uh, and if it comes down to actually needing those fonts for some reason, I can get them again or get a font that actually does them. But I simply do not need these fonts in my daily use, so I don't need them installed. And they are actually some of the largest fonts on the system. So I don't particularly need um, to have them at all. So those would be the first fonts I delete. I'm going to move this off screen. But you can see... And dealing with fonts is a laggy business, uh, I must say. Especially when you have so many of them. And while I'm streaming, my computer is definitely using it more processing power. 
which is rather unfortunate. And what I think I will do is I will rely on OBS to have my chat up in case anyone actually enters the chat room. As unlikely as that might be at this point. This video is basically just going to be seen by people on YouTube only or on other platforms once they start allowing higher size files. Like I know Rumble probably does, but it's like limited to a certain amount total and I'm not sure people would just watch this video for that. Um, YouTube is basically the only platform that has unlimited file size for the videos that you're uploading to it for right now. Uh, BitChute has like a two gigabyte cap or something. It might be less than that. Okay. So here is Batang and Batang She. These are actually foreign language fonts. So let's see. No, let's see. But regardless, I'm not sure how I can show you their actual Not sure if this will actually show them that. I think it's sort of just stuck uh, in English and it's not going to show you that they had the foreign language characters. Unless I'm just mistaking something, but anyways. I can just uninstall this font. And you can see it uninstalling, and voila! Two system fonts removed that I don't need, and they're also much larger fonts than most, because I'm currently sorting from uh, largest to smallest. And the main point about doing this all is just to get more, get better performance is the first thing. Okay, and let's see, are there any other foreign language fonts that I want to remove that are also overly large? I don't think that's the case. I think I got them all. Unless this is one, but I don't think it is. So I can go back. To active fonts and then delete the ones that I don't like or don't like enough. Uh, just to consolidate down just the 200 fonts. And let's see. Actually, I feel much better when I have the uh, stream up in the Firefox the, browser uh, rather than just in the OBS and you can't see that but it's on the side of the screen and I'm watching yes okay so eventually I'll come down to quite a few fonts I will choose probably just one pixelated font like this, but I'm not sure if it will be this one yet. And let's see. I'm actually going to start 
at the eyes, because that's where I left off on the second video, even though there are plenty of fonts in between A and I that ultimately did not get deleted because Nexus uh, Font Manager failed to delete them. So now I'll be looking for the fonts that I just really don't like. So all my fonts should either be sourced from Adobe, the Windows default, a few I've downloaded from like Google, a few others that I have found that are open source and royalty free, at least that's what I tried to check for. But uh, it's these are fonts I've gotten since I started in college. So hopefully when I get down to 200, I'll thoroughly check them just to make sure they're the fonts that I want. Okay. So first things first is I'm going to go through and find fonts that I find particularly ugly or not particularly worthwhile. Uh, yeah. Don't like that one. Okay. Now this is an interesting horror font. Now a lot of these fonts I've gotten from Creative Fabrica and a lot of them are more like Halloween or cute kitsch or script fonts. So some of them are actually interesting. I can see the potential for them. But also at the end of the day, when I had to narrow down to 200, I'm not so certain that I'd use something like this uh, Kampung zombie, zombie. But that is what it is. And I guess I can put on my music now, now that I've gone through the initial stages of discussing what I want to talk about. So let's see. I think, yeah, uh, Kampung Zombie will get the cut. That's probably going to be one of the easier fonts. And that font might even have like hands coming out of the font. It's, it's really a neat font, but not particularly useful design-wise. And it's something that I can always reinstall again if it came to it, but it probably won't. Um, this Kenya Suda, um, with how the characters are written, it's a nice messy script, but it's also, I feel inconsistent with how the letters are shaped. Like the person's not writing in the same direction. And a lot of these are gonna be very similar. So this one I'm gonna get rid of for legibility, as well as this one. As well as this one. Now, I have all the fonts set to 48 point size, so if I'm having trouble reading them at that size, then it will be something that's probably worth cutting just for legibility's sake. And that'll make it a lot easier to get down to the ultimate goal. I think this is actually a really interesting and nice font. Uh, you don't see E done that way too many times, but it goes with the rest of the font. That one's definitely an interesting one. Okay, I do have better brush fonts than this one. Legibility for that one is the problem there. Uh, this one, it's called Lazy Chicken. Uh, I just really hate that A. And that's a valid enough reason to get rid of it. Now this is sort of like a school letter font. Or like you would see a teacher write when they're teaching cursive, so that one's actually quite nice. And for this one, uh, having the A's like that, 
and this one also has lower case. The A's, the lower case is actually different and smaller, but that A is even worse in lower case. <laughs> now, I might need a kitsch font like this. I have because of the Creative Fabrica fonts that I've gotten from the free promos over the year. Over the last six months, actually, since I started using the service, uh, I've gotten a lot of freebie fonts that are very cage. Some heart fonts will be useful, especially if I want to make like a sarcastic product. This font, it's very, si very similar to this one. No, actually, no. It's just uh, legible. Legibility is the reason. Okay. This one, I don't like this font simply because this A, it's angled towards the right, whereas all the other letters are just very upright. Seems sort of out of place for that. Legibility. I have definitely have better pitch fonts than this one. I do like that they have the uppercase is just the font without the parts, and the lowercase is the font with the parts. That's actually a nice way to do it. Pretty ingenious if you're just going to have a full uppercase font. And I think I just don't like A's that, at least capital A's that are just the big A. And I don't really see that ever used in design, as far as I can recall. Ah. So let's continue. I don't really need outline fonts. I, in the last video, I downloaded, I deleted all the vid, all the fonts that were labeled as outline fonts. Uh, but this one obviously had, didn't have the name outline in it. had hollow, so I might check for other hollow fonts. Uh, and quite frankly, with this one... What the heck is going on with that JK? That is odd. Is that meant to be a combined symbol or is it some sort of error? Uh, well, if it's an error, I'm just going to get rid of the font. But with, like, the outlines, you can always just modify settings in Photoshop or Illustrator and get rid of uh, all the fonts that have such. Or just make any font an outline, so you don't need an exclusive font that's an outline. You almost never need that. Okay. This one, I think I'm going to get rid of just because of the J's being like that. And now that I have quite a few selected, I'm going to just go ahead and uninstall them. That's 23 down. And it did shift where I was on the screen, so I can go back a bit and find them. Yeah, I was definitely past here. Definitely going to get rid of any symbol font like that. They're just not useful. Um, I do like this uh, brush font. This is actually probably a good horror font as well. And it might be a keeper. Um, this font, it's just a simple sans serif. But it's just set to be so much larger than other fonts. Um, that it might cause some annoyance while working with it in design. And that's enough reason to get rid of it. Same for this one. Even if this one has a very nice, beautiful script. Like, I don't hate these fonts. It's just that when you have to pick just the very best of the best, you just have to get rid of some of your babies, as it is. And I'm just trying to keep up a stream of conversation with myself. This is sort of a disturbed horror font. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think that one's gonna go to the cutting block. Mm, 
This one is actually really nice. It's sort of in the style of black letter, but it's obviously not black letter. And this one has legibility issues on the capitals, like this B right here, because the bottom of the B is just so far from the stem of it. And some of these will definitely be deleted on the second pass. Okay, don't like either of those. I do like the style of this one, but I'm going to get rid of these two. And let's see. I think I've definitely seen more impressive uh, ones that have the swish. There's maybe something off about the balance, but maybe not. This one's a bit over the top. Metropolis, I think I downloaded that file in college. So that one I'll definitely have to check later. Because that is one of my main concerns. What the heck is with this one? This is a very strange font. This A is an M, and they have this really... It's not legible, but I think they're trying to go for something that's a bit different. It's definitely a strange one. Marlette was apparently system protected, even though other system protected fonts could be deleted. Okay. Minion Pro is obviously a default font. Okay, this is where I left off. Okay. Yeah, I think that the capitals, the... Like on the A and B, it's really near the top, but on the E, it's a bit down further, and then on the F, it's down really far. And then the G, capital G is not closed off. For that one. Uh, just too much, too much, way too much. This one has no capitals. Now this is obviously someone who made a bunch of fonts. Uh, no. All of these are pretty serviceable fonts if you want them. But I think their script is probably the best one that they made, but I think I'm going to cut all of them. Now, I really dislike having that sort of dash in an O. Legibility. This one, I feel like the lowercase connects very poorly with the uppercase. Not necessarily what you actually need, but I feel like that if you're connecting letter, any of the letters from lowercase, it would be a mess. Let's see. Legibility, legibility. Also, I really just like that F. To catch. Some catch would be nice, but not all of it. Okay. And let's see. I might come back to the Mockingbird. It's an interesting script. Uh, actually, no. I don't think I'm gonna come back to them. Okay, and then I'm gonna install these ones. Now, where was I?
mono line isn't necessarily a bad font. But it is a bit larger than the normal one, so I think I'll pass on keeping that one. Hmm, and I thought I got rid of all the swash. Uh, our font labeled swash. Uh, I definitely have better fonts uh, than that one. Mongolian Batai seems like a nice font. Unless it's actually a foreign language script. <laughs> and that's just using like Times New Roman. I've been looking at so many fonts I went through that with Times New Roman apart from some of them. I think I have better versions of this. Now, I don't like how certain characters are rotated a certain way and others aren't. It makes for a very... Like, there's messy handwriting, and then there's just handwriting that isn't here. Let me adjust my camera and see that that's not an off track. This one actually has a lot of charm to it. Uh, uh, Mr. Nurse. This is an interesting sort of horror font. Uh, and I think I don't need it compared to some of the other ones. Uh, I'm guessing this is definitely a foreign language one. The Myanmar text. This font it just exists with these caps, I'm guessing. But it's not particularly good, I'd say. Or at least I don't find it charming. I don't want mine though. Not necessarily bad though. definitely have better fonts that use hearts for eyes. There's heart eyes also. Or those points are also sort of just mediocre, I guess. Compared to some of the other ones. I particularly dislike how they do this through the queue. I see why they do it, but I just don't like it. Oh uh, yeah. This one, it's the type is so thin that you can't really see the style. It 
It does have some interesting points, like with the L and the K, but it's just so thin that I... Yeah. Don't have to fully justify myself on the particularly like that one. I think I have quite a few better in that style. This one I can't read at all. Okay. Now this one might be an interesting one to keep. This is actually a nice font, but it's just very similar to other other high quality fonts. No, I can make mistakes from time to time. I definitely have deleted some of the more common fonts probably <laughs> by mistake. Uh, when I'm just looking at this. I'm not necessarily a good designer whatsoever. We shall see whether or not this actually pays off. Okay. I have quite a few selected. 94 uninstalled. Okay. So where was I? And now it's light. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Camera shift again, or let's see. Yeah, it feels like my camera shifted somehow. Might be because of the cord. Maybe something's done. Okay, where was that? it? Definitely was past here. Hi, right, this is a red part of this. This is definitely an interesting script. Uh, did it somehow duplicate itself? I don't think so, but I think I'm gonna get rid of that one. Yeah. Now, for a font like this, it's very important to me that all the shading faces one side or has one direction. In this font, it does do that as well as this one. For this one, the wobbly letters I don't like. actually might be one that's worth looking at again. We'll see after I pare it down to like a thousand. <laughs> then I can have a better idea of what I actually like. Okay. Open Sands. That might actually be something that's common news. I'm not sure. This is definitely an interesting font, but I think it does go to my um, cutting board. Now I'm trying to decide what will actually be useful for some of the ideas I currently have in mind and what ideas I might have in the future. And I like how this one does the points as this diamond shape. Definitely an interesting one. 
it might even make it to the top 500. I don't know. Legible, legible, legible. Uh, let's see. I think this one's a bit over the top compared to some of the other ones. And now my computer is starting to lag just a bit. Might be related to <laughs> being here. Okay, so Pancake Mango is where we're gonna have to scroll back up to. Okay. I think I'm going to get rid of both Pancake Mango fonts. Okay. And this is so much better than using Nexus Font Manager because Nexus Font Manager was deleting only a fraction of the fonts that I wanted it to delete. Okay. Stay hydrated. I simply do not like the F and H in this one. Uh, this lowercase p is awful. As well as the uppercase j. I don't like the bell. That's a little too specific to just Christmas. I do actually like the other characters. They're pretty good. Uh, I sort of prefer fonts that actually connect, but I can get the stylist of choice for that. But the eye, I don't really like. And also, the font is considerably larger than a normal font. That does cause some problems when designing. I like the idea behind this one. The permanent marker, it's a really nice one. Uh, might end up on the cutting block, but it might also survive. So we shall see. Uh, mostly, I don't like the capital J and lowercase j. Some of the capitals I don't like. Um, the L is particularly bad, especially the lowercase L. Now that's the main thing that this font is doing is on this B K H and on the G you have that sort of serif. But I don't like there's something off about the shape I'd say. Okay, legibility. It's nice that so many of these fonts that I ended up downloading, uh, so many of them are this cursive, so I can decide which ones I don't actually like that much. Uh, I think there are, I prefer this uh, pixel bit, was a bit more legible. It might actually be useful, but I think that the legibility problem is, uh, hopefully I'm not going to overlook. Yeah, that is a nice stylized serif, much better than the other font. Okay. Look at the difference between the capitals and lowercase. Actually, not necessarily an issue. Hmm. But there are some other things that I don't like, especially the extreme thinness. And it's not even a straight line that's thin, so that means there's going to be more pixelization and some designs just because of that for that font uh, 
And this is a fairly nice typewriter looking font. And then let's see. Do I have to say anything about these fonts? Um, in general, I don't like the E. That's already a sort of a catch font, and then the G doesn't really close. are just so thin that they will cause issue of pixelization at some sizes. And this one, it's one that I really dislike because perspective changes between them. It's not like an even lighting. The PF Serif Scratch is actually something that I think I might need a font like that and I I do have a few fonts I've seen like that in the collection, but that one might be the best of them. Okay. This is really odd with the A right here. This extra little bit of stem coming up here. So let's see. Yeah. Not a particular fan of either of those two. This one... It might have legibility issues, but it's a really nice stylization with the capitals there. A really interesting consistency, too. And now they got that consistency with that sort of style. So this is a weird font where the capitals don't have any sort of cursive connection to other letters, but all the lowercase have a cursive connection. This one's a bit much, a bit overdone I'd say. This one has a little too many hearts. Yeah, I would assume that O right here is actually an at sign with that heart. Oh well. So come back to Quiltix. Another 64 fonts deleted. So this font manager, I'm able to delete fonts a lot quicker. So it is in the queues. Yes, okay. This one's interesting, sort of like a fabric patch, simple fabric patch that might be worth uh, keeping for some ideas. And let's see, all of these have it coming from the same direction, um, but I don't like that the E it goes all the way through there. But I think the other fonts I have similar to that, I'll choose over that. Okay. I really like this font. It's sort of... I've seen fonts that, uh are sort of based off of the Asian sort of font style of writing, but in ink, but actually English characters. And this is sort of an Arabic, I think, unless I'm mistaken. But it's a really nice one, so that one is probably going to be a And this uh, Ralafonia, it's one of the nicer brushstroke fonts. Okay. 
This is nice, but it's a bit more over the top than some of the other ones I have. So I don't need any hollow fonts or outlines. Let's see. Yeah, I... Th well, actually, I'll leave both of those for now. Now this Rasputia is actually a really nice one, it's just that I have some others that are very similar that I think are nicer. Okay. The line whiffs on this one is the main reason why I don't particularly like it, the Red Honey. Especially where that J capital, I see they've done it on K, L, M, and then they have a very thin one for the lowercase. Is that thin one repeated for like the lowercase F? No, it's not. The lowercase F is basically identical to the capital F, so I feel like there's a bit of an inconsistency in that font. Actually, both of these are fairly nice. Okay, and Renair is a um, Futura alternative that I specifically got to use in place of Futura. Uh, for this one, I think the G and the J and the F are the main reasons to get rid of it. Let's see. I'm also at the point where I, some of these fonts I'm taking a while to pause on, and some I am not. Okay, that's... Is that supposed to be music notes? Uh, but it's a little, it's overdone, I'd say. Uh, that one... This is supposed to be a paintbrush, but some of these characters, they don't look like they were done with the hand of a paintbrush. At least this A, this A sort of has an awkward spot. Now this one's interesting. Uh, the J's are just completely illegible. I was not able to tell that was a J in the start. I do find it interesting on how they have the um, st what is the correct term stem? Probably not. But these, uh, process through it is just so low. And I have forgotten some of my font terms over the years. Okay. That's sort of an interesting font, but... Oh. Maybe I'll come back to it. I think that it just doesn't compete with some of the other bold faces, though. Actually, yeah, it probably doesn't, just because of how it does that A. The A and the E I don't particularly like, yeah. And this one, it's the legibility is the problem there. Well, this one, the legibility is a problem. There's too little space between, like, this A right here. And let's see. This is one where the B is going towards the left, the C is going towards the right, and that's just not good, I think. Uh, Romance Sands, it's very similar to a lot of other fonts, and but it's much larger, so that causes some design annoyance. And I think the same person designed these other fonts right here. Uh, though I could be wrong. The Romantic Spring might be uh, made by the same person who made uh, Romance Sands, but maybe not. I don't know. This is just sort of a gimmick font. Uh, it's a stylistic choice, but... Uh, 
I don't think anyone really would care for that in their logo. Now this is definitely an interesting one, because all the drop cats have, or all the capitals have, well most of the capitals have two sort of deviled heart tails. And that's definitely an interesting way to deal about it. Uh, yeah, this one, it sort of has a texture feel to it. Well, actually, it is different enough in certain ways, like with this A. So this is definitely the same font, but they definitely applied that sort of style. I'm not sure they did it that well, or I just don't like Art Deco. Uh, let's see. They also made several different versions of it. And I think that I'm just going to say no to all of them. Actually, I think that A right there, someone might eventually use that for a major product. Um, that A is really nice. I don't like the rest of the font, but that A is really nice. The M, it also has that sort of nice quality, um, but I don't think they should have copied that on the M. Yeah, I think I had better sort of thick letter, smooth, uh, rounded fonts like that. Okay. And let's see. Uh, too much and too thin. This is actually a really nice spot, I must say. It definitely sort of has the... what's it called? Uh, what's the font? Madoni sort of look to it. Yeah. Or the sort of regal look that you get from Madoni. Now that one is probably one that I might even make a note to say. In fact, I probably will. Okay, and that was... well, we'll get back to it in a moment. Sable. Well, that's definitely an interesting font, and I even like the sapphire. Love it. Um, this is an interesting font, the Segiel, but I think that primarily because of how it does the A and the G. Uh, well, maybe. That's definitely an interesting font. Whereas I have so many script fonts that I don't mind getting rid of them. And like, if I need a font that's even more sort of angled, I can actually just Photoshop an existing font, I think. Now this is a nice uh, sort of mimicking uh, Asian style uh, writing. I definitely don't like the bold and I think that the thin areas where it loops right here is a sort of negative for it. Oh, 
And I'm just looking towards this as the lens of uh, maybe t-shirt design at best, not necessarily the highest end products. But that means legibility is extra important for me. But also having some stylization is also preferable. Now I'm just in a stretch where I'm not liking particularly any of these spots compared to what I've seen before. And I don't like that sort of E style most of the time. And I'm definitely not really going to use fonts that are that thin. And let's see, this one's a bit overdone with the texturing on there. And I think other horror fonts are a bit better. Now this sort of reminds me of the Jurassic Park logo. What about this font? Uh, let, let's uninstall these ones for now. That's another 42 gone. And we were at Seaside Resort. That's this one. Okay, this is definitely an interesting one. I actually like that pound sign quite a lot. Uh, I think it's fine. I don't know why double clicking it is producing another one of them. Install that one. Yeah. And this is a nice digital clock one. I think I'm gonna also pass on this script. Mainly because I don't like that E. The G is actually one of the better ones, but I don't like the E. I had to make sure to leave Segoy there, because that's actually an important thought. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, too thin, too thin. Uh, this M is sort of awkward of how the L attached to it. Uh, that might not actually be a bad thing about the font, though. You typically don't write uh, lowercase and then uppercase. Uh, legible. That one seems to be a brushstroke one. It's also a bit smaller than normal fonts. Okay, actually, this one I like. It does have the bars a bit higher and a bit lower than most fonts, but it doesn't have them to the extreme of some of the other ones. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I think I'll uh, that one. Too thin. Thin. I don't like this stroke coming in through the Q and O. That's a nice shapely letter, but uh, yeah. Too thin. Okay. And maybe someone can learn from my mistakes if I'm making them. Who knows? Okay. That looks neat, but at the same time, it's sort of a thing that you shouldn't have in a cursive font. And also, I can sort of mimic that texture in Photoshop anyways. And do it on a font that I like just a bit more than that. So, I think 
that, don't need that, don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. No. I really just like this hill. Did this one not have a Z character for lowercase? It looks like it didn't. <laughs> okay. This one has the greatest disparity between a capital and a lowercase in size that I've seen so far. It's sort of interesting. None of the letters are actually bad. Well, actually, uh, the capital J is somewhat bad. And this lowercase k is really weird, so I think it's going to get cut just because of this k, this k right here. Okay. This is a nice thin sort of handwritten one. The a is going sort of towards the left, and all the rest are sort of being written to the right, but the f is being written towards the left. So there's sort of an angle issue that's not, there's no continuity. Is that the word I want to use? I don't know. Okay. I do think I'll pass on that one. Okay, let's see. And either I've shifted again, or my camera's shifting, I don't know which. Or maybe I'm just not comfortable sitting in one place for this for a long time. Yeah? Let's see. Okay, not necessarily bad, but I think I will pass on it. And this one's a little overdone. Smash ball and it has the letters crack. Well, actually, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna get rid of it because I, I get what it's doing, I like what it's doing, but I don't think it does it that effectively. This is probably the boldest font uh, I've seen in this sort of style. And I also think that it's just a bit too much. They're sort of mimicking the Star Wars script for that, but not entirely certain. That well, might be a useful problem. I think I have better pixel fonts than the Spoticon. And, uh, that's nice in terms of the script. It's a lot more legible than some of the other ones. Let's see. I'll come back to it. I installed a lot of fonts that I actually just genuinely don't like. I'm a bit surprised that I find some of the fonts that I'm just willing to let go. Yeah, I definitely installed too many fonts. And I should have been pickier about what I installed. <laughs> Yeah, I think I have fonts that do this sort of style better. Well, actually, the 
this one, it's definitely one that I will probably come back to. I really hate this A. This A. This A. There's no reason to do that. No reason. Does it do that on any of the other ones? Sort of does that on G. But G would sort of have Seraphs there anyways. There's no reason to do that to A. Okay, 98 more fonts down. So we're now at 1,504 fonts. That's wonderful. We're just going to go and stuff that one. And now, where was I? I was still in the S ones. Yes. Oh yes, I was that stranger creature. And this one isn't. Is this one that I have two copies of it for some reason? And one is at the very top of the screen. It might be. Well, I'm not going to worry about it. I think this one is one I don't. This is the same font, but different names. No, there is slight differences. This one is rougher, the top one. The top one is rougher. I, mean, I don't necessarily like that. And let's see. I think this is a font I tried to delete that's stripped rounded in a previous video, but it went to delete with Necklace Font Manager. And this is definitely an interesting one, this stroke. Uh, this one might be too thin, the Sugella, but it is also sort of a nice style. Hmm, I'll come back to it. I'm probably going to get rid of it because it's too thin, and I can just use a similar font instead. Um, this one I don't like because the M and N is darker than the rest of the letters. Yeah, this one it's replacing the dots with a little bit flame symbol. But it's also substantially larger than other fonts. Uh, these two fonts are named the same, but might be made by entirely different people. Actually, this one has two L's in there. Is that a spelling error? I think that's a spelling error in the font name. And I think I'll get rid of it just because of that. <laughs> I have other bold fonts. I'd have so many fonts I need to get rid of still at least 1,300, I think. Yeah. Actually... Okay, this is one of the nicer brush fonts. I don't like the E, but I do like some of the other characteristics there. And how often do you use a capital E? Hmm. The characters are just very straight and upright, but this is sort of a brush font, so you'd expect them to have a bit more personality in their shape. Maybe not be so even. Uh, I mean, if you're going for that style, it's actually very well done, though. Mm. Okay, I don't really... Yeah, I'm 
not particularly attached to any of the restaurants. Uh, Tahoma, that name sort of rings a bell. Um, I've been a farm I got in college. I did a project in college with. I think I have other fonts that do that job a little bit better. I don't know. I do like the swishes on the tangerine font. Those are actually some really attractive capitals. And we shall see. I'm not really feeling the teacher ruler uh, vibe from this font. Um, I also find the little parts of the E on the center are just too small. And let's see. Sort of an interesting pixel font. Done a bit differently than others. And it looks a bit more pixelated by default. Now when I narrow it down to just a few, eh, well. I like how it's different, but at the same time, it's a bit much. I dislike how the stem of the bee descends so far under the loop there. And it's the same for the D there. Not the same on this spot, but it might be the same maker, I'm not sure. It seems like uh, a maker will make a lot of names with a very similar name to them. I mean, some will just be like font name and then regular and then font name and cursive, but others it's like a few characters off and a very similar sounding name and it looks like it's very similar style so it might either be inspired by or by the same creator and that kind of font. For this one this L is really strange here. Beauty line. That's interesting. Might actually be useful for something. And circus show. That might be useful. Let's see. The chef. Uh, this one might just be so large. That's probably why I'm gonna choose to prune it. Just calling something to designer does not necessarily make designers want to use it. This one definitely has a lot of energy. Uh, I don't know if anyone who is writing very fast E's would write it like that though. Sort of feels like they wouldn't. Specialty fonts that are sort of interesting. Okay, and there, of course, is Times New Roman. Charging Pro, yeah, that's another default one. 
trebuchet and now it's using the front one. Mozilla might be something that Firefox brought in. Wouldn't be surprised. Uh, Unison, I'm definitely probably going to get. Trying to get rid of Unicorn School. I think I tried to remove that last time. This is actually sort of graffiti like, but I don't like that E. I'd rather use a different style. Fonts are named Valentine, but I'm not really feeling so lovely about them. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think I can get rid of the both Venetas and Vestas. I think I have fonts that do this better. Yeah. Verdana is a, one of my favorite fonts. Uh, it's one of the... It was made at the same time and by the same guy who made Georgia. Um, this one might be nice. Let's see, this one also has letters that are drastically different in the in darkness. Okay, so let's uninstall and then come back to the vintage queens. Yes. Now some of these are being listed as system protected. Uh, so, Tahoma and Marlet must be sister protected, yeah. Okay. And the Violethi font sort of reminds me of a font you'd see on cartoon titles um, from like Cartoon Network. This is an interesting one. Probably look at that one. Volcano Galaxy. That's a fun name. I actually do like the O's there, but the rest of it I don't particularly like. And this one's another one that's just too thin. I think I have better ones that do it in the Wildstar County. 
And they actually have more symbols too. Now this is another one of those fonts where the A is going off to the left and the B is going off to the right. It's supposed to be a handwritten font, but people don't change the direction that they're writing like that, really. Uh, actually, yeah, this one's really nice. It sort of gives uh, uh, far, far away... Uh, fantasy sort of feel to it. That one's a bit much. And this one, all the all the tails and an actual half so that's fun. Uh, so we're tempted to keep the woody cow uh, to make a gift for my dad. <laughs> yeah, that's a funny thought. Well, that's the first font that I found so funny that I found it worth keeping just on that. That's a sort of a pencil font. Uh, that one's over the top, that one's over the top. I sort of like the Yanita, but I definitely think I've seen better ones. Okay. That's another 53 down. We're down to 1,294 fonts. So I'm going to go through these ones again. So let's see, one that I do like is a dine. Let's see if I can find it. Hopefully I haven't accidentally deleted it again. <laughs> I think I actually from one the first video of this. That's Adine Kimber and Paul is what I'm looking for. This is my current favorite for script thoughts, I think. Yeah, this is a really nice one. So that's my current favorite for script thoughts. Nice, clean, not too thin. Does have some areas where there is a bit of thinness issue. But overall, it's really nice. So that is what I'm comparing other fonts to. Okay, I think I'm gonna get rid of both of these. I have no clue why this strawberry, well probably because they have a space in the first letter of their names. The strawberry feel of love, it's a bad font, sort of objectively, but it's sort of a catch font that does the hearts relatively well in a way that I have some use for it. So I'm actually probably keeping the strawberry feel of love. Okay. And um, this one. 
this one. Yeah, I don't like the A going right and the B going left. A safe place to fall. It's another one where it's going left and right and characters. They're mostly going left. But uh, actually they're all going left. But like the B is going straight up, the D is almost going straight up. The M is mostly going straight up. I don't like that inconsistency there. And this assassin ninja. Uh, I think I have fonts that do it better. This one, it's going to go down. I like it, it's fancy, but it's too thin on some areas there. And it's really hard whether or not I should delete the Adobe fonts, because I'm certain that Adobe Thigh and Adobe Arabic, these are language fonts, and they're just using the uh, base font of like maybe Car Castellan Pro or Garmin. Uh, let's see. Let's see which one is more like it. Yeah, they must be using being based off of Garmin for the English version. Now some of these are ones that I tried to delete with Nexus, uh, font Nexus, or is it Nexus font? And let's see, Nexus font, yes. Now this might be the favorite of the fonts that includes some sort of heart with a capital. And if I have that, I might not need any of the others. Now I can see myself needing a handwritten font. Some of these are just too thin. And too much smaller than normal fonts. This one, I think it's over the top with that, and I think that other font that had hearts in it was better. Okay, let's see. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and install these ones. So now I'm at 255, well, 1255. This one is going to be cut out, I think. Yeah, that one is definitely cut out. Um, Abby Gayer, I definitely think I have a lot of fonts that are sort of like that one. But I might keep that.
this is a fairly nice one. The Emilina is actually a nice font, I think, from just what I can see of it, but it's so much larger than normal fonts that it causes design issues, I'd say, or at least a little hassle. And this is definitely a font I tried to delete earlier, or in the first video. Let's see. Okay, this is an interesting one, this Angelina. Uh, Angeletta. Okay, so almost all of the characters are written in this architect's daughter, slightly left-leaning it looks like. There's Ariel, which is obviously a keeper. <laughs> uh, our Mio, and then it's sort of like Ariel, but... In fact, it might even... Is it the same? No, it's not. It's just a worse version of Ariel. It's very similar. I might even be copying. No, the C is different. That one was actually designed to look very similar to Ariel or Helvetica. This one, it doesn't have any capital letters, and I prefer the fonts to have capital letters. Okay. A bit too much there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get rid of the Asgore font. Well, actually, maybe I won't. I wanna check something before I get rid of that one. If I recognize it from somewhere. This one, the font's internal kerning between the A and the lowercase A is really off. Okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, some of the capital letters are illegible. These are ones I probably selected on the first day, but Nexus Hot Manager didn't delete them. And that's a shame. Van Schrift might actually be a different foreign language one. I'm not sure. It looks like it's just a copy of Ariel. Uh, in this preview here. Hmm. 
This bar strip one might actually be useful. Okay, so let's get rid of these ones. That's another hundred font staff. One four. And actually, deleted them this time. So let's look at this font. This might be a useful one. I think that one's a key. It's very different and very odd. It's a really tall, really thin font. It really isn't legible, but it's sort of not supposed to be. Which is definitely an odd choice, but yeah, it works. Okay. I don't like this bastion because of how it does this F right here. That's a horror font, but I don't particularly find that. Uh, or like it's a Halloween themed one. There's a lot of Halloween ones that are like, you start with a scary font and then you make it cutesy for Halloween. I don't like the A there. This one's a little too thin. Betosai? Is that a Roni Kenshin reference? Probably. Maybe not, though. Uh, I really actually think the, well, maybe the Beauty and Love is a nice one. I don't like the M on this one. I definitely tried to delete this one last time. I'm certain some of these fonts got installed by some program at some point rather than something I just decided to install. this Benton. Maybe it was one that I specifically went for yeah, at some point. Uh, well, it's mostly good that I am getting rid of fonts that are a bit too much. Pretty certain I tried to delete all of these ones last time. This one is actually a fairly nice one. And this one's just a bit overly done with the texture and roughness. This is another one where some of the letters are a lot darker than others. I don't like the O's on this one, but it's sort of a catch font that I might need. Eh, well, I'll get rid of that one. Where else my scenario I can re-download it? It's definitely one I got from Creative Fabrica. Some of these I'm 
leading based on decisions that I've made and explained earlier, as well as in the previous streams, yes. Okay. Bluebell might be a nice one, but I'm just saying that I don't like that bee, but I sort of like that bee. There's also a substantially larger frog than those. In fact, it looks like this is a similar design by the This one might be an interesting one. And let's see. I think I tried to delete boldest last time, but maybe it's grown on me. It will probably become a lot harder to be objective about which ones I want to get rid of. case scenario, if I delete all the ones with a font type that I need, I can just look up again and see if I find something that I like better. Uh, brutal type. I like the name, but I don't really see it as much of an improvement over here. Unless it's not showing the actual characters for it. I know I tried to delete this one last time. Yeah, I think I have better version or better font to try the same thing as this Vegeta. Okay. I probably would have deleted a lot of fonts a lot easier if I had used this font program to begin with, this main type. Okay, Calibri. Let's see. Cambria and Cambria Math. I do recognize those names as fonts. Seen for a long time. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Uh, Castella Mulligate. It's actually a nice font, but I do have a lot of similar fonts that I prefer over it. Caveat, I might keep as a handwritten font style. New Century Gothic. Shock vibes. And, yeah, I think that's too much. Caliba. Uh, Actually, these fonts are quite nice. Um, let's get back to them after I install these fonts so I can make a better decision. Okay, we're down to a thousand fonts. We are making a lot more progress now. It's so much easier when you can actually delete the fonts. And now it's lagging a bit. Oh, it's actually uninstalling uh, 146 spots. And that is actually being hit in the corner right there. Or I know, at the camera. In fact, I might want to move the... <laughs> I 
I moved the webcam corner over to the right side, but in this program it might work better on the left side. But it worked better having it on the right side for Nexus font. <laughs> but I'm not using Nexus font. doing this for almost two hours now. Oh yes, I deleted most of these fonts for the Christmas in them. At first, uh, I was at Champagne. like that, but I might not. Yeah, it does have a nice sophistication to it. Maybe I should have this up to here now. Okay. Interface has been adjusted. Okay. That's a little overdone, this check cat. I'm pretty certain I slayed <laughs> deletion the first time around. Ah. Nexus font. Uh, what a disappointment. It does have a better interface, I'd say, than main type, but main type has vastly superior functionality. Uh, let's see. Uh, might keep those. Definitely not. So what should be my stopping point for the night? We've definitely done this for a little too long. I do think I will try and just delete any font that has the name Christmas in it. Because they sort of just don't meet my standard for Christmas. Uh, this one's actually a nice one. But I don't like the O, so that's a good enough reason, and it's named itself Christmas. The Christmas font has to be a perfect font, I'd think. Hey, it's lagging, it's lagging. And that might actually be my stopping point uh, because it is lagging so bad. 
uh, making this many changes to the font uh, to the font system is making a lot of changes to the registry. So this might be my stopping point for the night, and I will probably, hopefully, finish this within a day. <laughs> uh, probably not. Okay. Okay. Well then, I think I will stop recording and hopefully they'll <laughs> have enough system resources to actually finish this. So I think I'm going to go and it's almost been two hours and I'm going to say thanks for watching. Uh, did it crash? Did it crash? I'm not sure. It might have crashed. But anyways, good night. Sleep tight. Uh, well, I'll try to sleep tight. For anyone watching at a different time of day, well, go about your day. It's not time for bed, it's not time for bed. If it is time for bed, well, go to sleep. I wish I could learn that lesson. Anyways, thanks for watching.